I have an old project that's got 2D text. I'm going to click and hold here, and I'm going to click and say 2D text. Highlight it. Sorry, press the escape key. Let's size this the way that we want. A little bit too big. There we go. This is so cool. You've got an older project that's got 2D text. You want to make it 3D text. Here we go. Sitting down, we go back to where it says text, and we click on appearance. Notice that 3D text is not checked. Click it. Ta-da! 3D text. You want 2D text? Unclick it. It's 2D. You want 3D? Click it. It's 3D. And then we've got all of our lighting. Let's do dramatic top left. And let's go to our environment. Twirl that down. Let's go to our color lights. Oh, it's amazing. Just amazing. F8. And we end up with 2D text that's 3D with all the flexibility that we wanted before. It looks great. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at new features inside Motion 5.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 158. By the way, membership is a great way when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any Power Up webinar for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.